What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and I'm super excited because I think we are going to absolutely catch them. Now one thing about it is, it is very cold. It is like in the mid 40s right now. It's supposed to really drop down super, super cold within the next couple of days. Drop down to like highs in the low 30s, nights in the low teens. It is going to be very, very cold. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get on the water in the next couple of days or next week because it is an absolute cold blast coming. So water temps right now, let's check it out. Water temps are 40 four degrees very very cold they're going to definitely drop down into the upper 30s by the first of next week no doubt about it now one thing about it is i got a special guest coming on the channel today that you all have been missing for a while that is correct i got lee he's coming right now he's going to hop in the boat with us and we are going to see if we can absolutely smash him i don't know what we're going to catch him with today might be the jig might be the spinnerbait pretty good breeze blowing so i would like to put the spinnerbait to work today really you know crank that slow let it go down you know drop down in the water column and really reel it slow and maybe get a big one on that but we'll drag the jig around we'll throw the jerk bait crank bait whatever we got to do we got about five hours before it gets dark so we don't have a ton of time actually we only have about four hours before it gets dark it's almost one o'clock so we got to get to it as soon as lee gets here i'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna go to catching him Okay. All right, y'all, we got Lee back in the boat. So y'all know what that means. We're going to absolutely catch him today. We're going to We're going to catch him. So <coughs> we don't have to go far. You know, we all on a pond, but this is a 120 acre pond. It's a really big one. So we're actually going to jump right over here to the other side. We're going to start on a flat, throw in the spinnerbait. Last time I was here, they were on this flat pretty good, but that's been about three weeks ago and the water was a little bit warmer. So this lake does have a ton of hydrilla in it. It is absolutely loaded, especially on the lower end. And the wind is blowing pretty much from down lake back up the lake. So I think the spinner baits might work out. We're gonna start with them. We might end up going out deep on the channel with the jig, but we're just gonna let them tell us what they want. So stand by, we gonna get them. All right, so we're idling along. Y'all can see we're sitting in seven and a half foot of water, but you can see all this hydrilla that comes up off the bottom and this flat right here Woo. it kind of goes back and forth goes in and out so it drops off. yeah it drops off loads up with bait pretty good so we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna start finding some cast one thing i will say is i accidentally forgot my micro sd card for my dash cam so i'm only going to be running the chesty today i always like to run a dash cam for y'all but gonna just be the chesty today we'll, we'll make it work but let's see this is your first cast of 2024 oh my so we're gonna see hopefully lee's first bass of 2024 <laughs> let's see if we can get some this hydrilla y'all can see it it's floating all in the in the water all the way up to the top uh some of it's broke loose makes it a little bit aggravating throwing the spinnerbait not terrible but We'll see if we can pick up some doggone biggins. What do you think, Lee? How many pounds do you think we're gonna get today? Hopefully 20. It will, hopefully 20, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set a goal for us. I was gonna go 13. 15. All right, Lee said goal of 15 pounds, so we gotta get it done. 15 pounds. That's a pretty high goal, but I'll take it. We got somebody else fishing up here in front of us. I believe they might be crappy fishing, maybe. Uh, they're out in the middle, just kind of floating around, but they might be crappy fishing. The wind's blowing probably 10 plus. It's blowing pretty good. But that should have this spinnerbait bite uh, pretty decent. I'm thinking maybe but we'll kind of let the fish tell us what they want hopefully we get bit kind of quick and and we'll kind of adjust accordingly all 
All right, so we're working our way up to this point. We fished that whole flat with the spinnerbait and we didn't get any bites. A bunch of just kind of free floating hydrilla all in the water, getting our blades kind of fouled up. But Lee's fired some casts on the other side of the boat out towards the channel and I'm fishing up towards the bank. Just trying to see if we can get bit. We have seen some fish on live scope, a couple decent ones sitting here in the hydrilla. So we're coming up to this point. We'll probably throw the jig on that, probably throw the spinnerbait on it first. And then we'll throw the jig on it. See if we can get a darn big one. I probably think the jig might be the deal to be honest with you, but we're going to find out right here in a second. Really hoping to get one on this spinnerbait though, as we get up to this point. All right, Jig, let's see if we can get one. I'm gonna tell y'all what, that wind is coming around here blowing pretty doggone hard. We didn't get a bite on the spinnerbait, so I picked up the jig. What are you throwing, Lee? Jig, Lee's dragging the jig too. And we're gonna work along this point, work along this channel, see if we can get bit. I'm still throwing that 3 8 ounce Strike King finesse jig and that blue crawl that I've been throwing. Been an absolute killer for me. Been catching them on a really good, so. I'm gonna stick with that and maybe we can get old big mama. We're still searching for that first fish. Lee is searching for his first fish of 2024. So we gotta get him one for sure. But we gotta get that first bite. The fish should be biting with that big front we have coming in this afternoon. I mean, the fish should really, really be biting. I think we just got to figure out kind of what they're doing. Need one to smoke this jig. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bite, Lee. That's a bite. Oh, God, he dropped it, dude. Oh, dude, he dropped it. He smoked it, too, when he bit it. I come up, and he was swimming to me with it. And I felt him drop it. Golly. Yep, that was definitely a fish. Definitely. I don't know why he dropped it, but 100% did. Dang it. That wind is blowing right, right back towards it. With that wind blowing my line and all, it might have you know, been a little bit of resistance and he kind of could, could feel it a little bit. They were kind of doing that last time here. They were kind of, they would bite, pick it up and wouldn't really hold on to it good. Well, first bite, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this Strike King gravel dog over there and see if, see if we can get him to bite that. See if we can get a bite on the old crankbait. y'all right, so we've gotten one single bite i got one bite on the jig he bumped it and let it go i've thrown the crankbait a little bit lee were you just throwing the crankbait yep. yeah lee was throwing the crankbait a little bit and right now what we're doing the channel runs around this point and runs back up the lake and we're just targeting the channel out here it's a bunch of stumps on it and we're just firing the jig out here trying to drag it by an active fish and get bit you know, we're fighting the wind right now. It's pretty, pretty tough. Putting a major bow in the line, dragging this jig, making it a little bit, a uh, little bit tough to fish. But we're going to kind of work our way up to this point right in here. And we're going to work back up that way and see if we can get one. If we got to, we'll go back down that side, maybe throw the spinnerbait, maybe a lipless, something like that. I don't know, but we got to get a fish in the boat. Lee, this wind is pumping, man. This wind is pumping. God, go. We got to get bit so it ain't bothering us too bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't mind the wind in the summertime. She's a little chilly now, though. 
Oh, I'm up there in the hydrilla. Was that a fish? No, dude, that's a big bass. Lee, that's a big one, dude. Dude, I thought I was hung in the hydrilla, but he was swimming with it. God, dude, dude, that's a good one. Oh, I don't know how good he's hooked, but I would swing him. Bring this way. Bring this way. Bring this way. Is it good? Got it, oh, dude. That's a dad going good one right there. Y'all check that dude out right there. That's a what? He's close to. He's four and a half at least. Oh, but that's about halfway of what we what we looking for. Oh yeah. We want to call him. I don't know you got scale. I, oh yeah, I do got my scale. I, I, won't, I won't even think. I threw up there and come up, and I was like, man, I didn't cast it too far. I'm up in the high driller. And when I started reeling, I was like, no, that's a fish. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is fish number one. Yeah, get that, uh, that trolling motor. Let's see. I'm going to say he's four. Who's in? Oh, yeah. Four, eight. 4.14. 4. 4.14. 4. I will say I think the scale weighs a little low because I think that fish a little over 4.14 like I thought that spot was a little bit bigger than that but he's a pretty one though there y'all go over a four pounder 4.14 so that's number one on the old jig what a beauty oh man well Lee let me tell you what that's a good one bro good, good one good one now you got to get you one <laughs> yeah, I, honestly when I threw up there I thought I was in the hydrilla and I was like I've done thrown too far and I started reeling it to get it out of the hydrilla and I was like nah that's a <laughs> that's a darn fish and, and y'all the wind's blowing so hard that you cannot feel anything so it has a lot to do with why that just happened I'm sure but nice yeah we will take it that was a good one so we've been fishing for how long? Over an hour? About an, two. almost two hours? Think about it, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I didn't realize it had been that long. Whew. We are grinding y'all. We're an hour and a half in and two bites and one fish in the boat. But it's on the old jig. And we're coming up to another point here. This point kind of juts out and kind of goes out so the fish was kind of right on this downwind side of the point a little bit probably pulled up there to feed and this old jig come by and he said yep that's a little snack yeah three eighths ounce finesse jig oh my god why is my line wrapped all around me right now? Dude, I, the other day I couldn't get him to touch it. No. Oh God, there he is, like big. He ain't that big. He ain't that big. I, now I will admit, I watched him on live scope swim to it. He come off that stump. Just ate it. Watch him. Yeah, when I hit him, he felt big, but he ain't that big. <laughs> but uh, we we'll weigh him. Oh no, we ain't gonna weigh him. I mean, sure, he's gonna enter our total. He's uh, he's what a pound and a quarter. <laughs> what, did, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's about a pint and a quarter. Yep. I was peeking, uh, peeking at him. I was popping it up, and he actually swam right over, right over to it and, and ate it. He was one of the more aggressive fish that I've seen. Uh, he's more than I thought. 1.58. 1.60, actually. Well, we had total one. Uh, I don't know because I got, yeah, like six pounds, something like that. Thank you, bud. Another jig fish. Healthy, though, man. They're so healthy. That's the thing. They're beautiful. Beautiful. I see your crankbait coming through the water. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you crank you come right over a stump. Yep. Yeah, that fish came like he was coming to it fast. I was like, eh, that fish is probably gonna bite it. Like he was a touch better than that just seeing him, but I'll take it. That wind, yeah, that wind's tough now. That wind is tough. All right, so Lee just tied on a finesse jig. I gave him one. So now he's gonna chunk it around. We're gonna work around this point right here. We'll probably end up working back down to that point where I got bit and didn't catch that fish, but we're gonna work around this point, see if we can get bit. We might end up working to the dam, but it is 221 right now and they're calling for the rain to come in at four o'clock. The rain and stuff, I mean, they're talking about thunderstorms, they're talking about, I mean, lightning and all kinds of stuff tonight. I mean, we're here in January, so definitely looking at some messy weather coming in, but that's why we wanted to get on the water because we were thinking that that would definitely have these fish turned on. And I'm not gonna say they're chewing by any means, but there are some fish willing to bite. There are some fish that'll, that'll bite the jig. I just really wish we could get on like a moving bite because then we could like really, yeah, really pick up some fish quicker than out here dragging around. But hey, I mean, all it takes is a couple big ones on the jig and you can be close to that 20 real quick. <laughs> That's a bite, dude. He cranked it. Oh, did he drop it? No, 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 no. He's got it. He's got it. Dude, the wind is blowing us to it. Yeah. Oh, dude, the wind was blowing us to him so hard that I missed him. Dude, he smoked it right off beside that tree. Daggone it, that wind was blowing us in so hard that I just could not get a good hook set on that fish. He was right there in the end of that treetop. He thumped it when he bit it too. Daggone, yeah. I didn't think he had it. You know, the, the wind's just blowing so hard I couldn't, couldn't hardly feel anything. All right, y'all, so we jump back over to this side. We're gonna fish this point and then we're gonna turn around and go back down that shoreline back up that way. Wind is still blowing, it's still cloudy, still real cold. <laughs> and uh, we're grinding and dragging, cause it's slow. You think something's in there? Right. Got him? Oh no, he come off, dude. Oh no, you hooked him too. I heard it. Dadgum it. I heard your line tighten down. Lee, first fish of 2024. Yep. Didn't get him. Let me tell you something, they're gonna go like that all year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, darn. We're fishing right along this side right here where I, I caught that first fish right up here in front of us. But Lee got a good bite and stuck him and he come off. Darn. Did, did he tick it or was he on it? Really? Darn it. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> oh, God, Lee. Got it. Dude, that's a giant. Lee, that's a giant, dude. Get the net. Oh my God, get the net. Get the net. Dude, this is a... 
Golly, dude. He got a good, oh he got, my. He got a good, he got a good, he got a good, he got a good. Oh my God, dude. Dude, that is a freaking giant. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Dude, that fish is over seven, ain't he? Holy crap, bro. That is a big one. That's a save. He's oh seven. my god. He's seven, eight, because he's about the size of one get on my wall. Oh, that fish right push eight, Kevin. Dude, that is, uh, dude, he is he's heavy. Def he's definitely a seven. He is heavy. Dude, y'all check that out. I'm going to take my chesty off so Lee can let me show this one, but we're going to weigh him real quick and we're going to get some good pictures with him. Oh my god, dude, this is a giant. Wait for a second. Smoked that jig. Seven point two three. Seven point two three. Seven four. We had, we got a seven what? Then we had a four. Four fourteen. And a one point six zero is what we got right now. And we're gonna put a seven twenty three in that spot. Oh my goodness, dude. That is a tank. Y'all check out that mega right there. Oh my God. Lee, what a monster, dude. Here, I'm going to give you my chesty. Here, hold him real quick. I'm going to give you my chesty. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. Yeah. All right, y'all. Check out that absolute tank right there. 7.23. That is a mega giant. God, he is beautiful. When I sat to hooking him, I was like, dude. That is a hammer. That is a big one right there. Whew. I'm gonna get a picture of my phone real quick and we're gonna let this girl go. Wow. All right, y'all. Absolute beast. 7.23. My goodness. That is a tank. I'm getting my hands frozen right now. <laughs> Just caught a seven pounder and I'm crying about getting my hand wet. Don't make no sense, does it? That is a good one, dude. All right, girl. Head on. <laughs> dude, what a hammer. Man, she thumped it. When I set the hook, I was like, dude, That's her. that is a good one. Wow. Oh, my hand's freezing. Man, on that Strike King finesse jig, Y'all, that has been an absolute killer this time of year for me. Been really good, that mock crush combo. 20 pound test P-line, fluorocarbon. Man, what a fish. Where are we at total weight, my man? All right, y'all, so we are searching for that pound and three quarter elusive bass to give us over 15 pounds. So we worked our way back across the lake right here to this point. And we're gonna see if we can get bit on this one. We did see some fish here, and I think we got bit a couple times right here too, didn't we, Lee? I think I got bit on that tree right there. Yeah. But we're gonna see if we can get him here because we are starting to wonder if these storms are pushing in on us. Because the winds have picked up to 20 plus now for sure. And I don't know what the temperature is, but it's very cold. And also. I don't know, we're running out of daylight too because it's 4.33. So we don't have a ton of time. Hello? Hey. Hey. Have you heard thunder where you're at? Oh, uh, we heard we heard something and we won't show sure if it was thunder. Was that thunder? We've had thunder here twice now that I've heard, so that's why I'm Oh, okay. We might get right and go then. Yeah, we we heard it, and we didn't know if it was like a trash truck went over the bridge or what it was. You know, just that's kind of how it sounded. Yeah, I mean, we kind of questioned it the first time, but now like it's definitely thunder. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna get right and go to that go back to the truck then. All right, y'all. We're gonna call it right here. I really appreciate y'all watching. We ended up catching an absolute big and seven point two three. Unfortunately, we didn't end up with our 15 pounds, but like I said, my wife called. Storms are rolling in right now. The wind is blowing like crazy. We have got to get the heck off the water. Unfortunately, Lee didn't get his first fish of 2024, but it's all good. 
we'll be back on the water again really soon. I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.